I'm going to start off with setting up my Illustrator file to be HDTV, and I chose File Place to bring in my artwork. I'm going to go Object, Image Trace, Make and Expand. I select my object. I'm going to ungroup it. I'm also going to expand it just in case it needs it. With my white selection arrow tool, I'm going to delete the background while keeping the shape of the bird. I'm going to set this over to the side, hold down Alt and Shift to duplicate it, and start separating the body. I'm going to use the Shape Builder tool to do this the fast way. I hit the Enter key to stop drawing. And this shape I'm going to subtract from the body. I select both of them holding Shift, use my Shape Builder. If I hold down Shift, it'll join it. If I hold down Alt or Option, it'll subtract those shapes. So now I have just the body. I got rid of that extra path point. I'm going to make a new layer, grab this little selection dot, put it there. I'll call this Torso by double clicking on it. I'm going to need to separate off the head next. So I'm going to move this over here, hold down Shift, and Alt to duplicate it again. So this will be just my torso. Again, I'm gonna use the Shape Builder to do this the quick way. Actually, you know what, let's... I select both shapes, holding down Shift, go to my Shape Builder. I'm going to subtract, so I'm holding down Alt or Option. And I'm just gonna round this body off a little bit better. Rounded joins are easier to hide where your character edges meet. This will become my head. Well, I'm going to do the neck and the head separate. Go we'll give a rounded join for the neck. Hold down shift, select both. Shape builder, hold down alt or option to delete. Go we'll change this. Smooth that out a little bit. Go make a new layer, call this neck. Grab my selection, put it up to that layer. I hold down Alt and Shift to duplicate while I drag. So I'll make this just the neck and this just the head. Select both, use my Shape Builder, hold down Alt or Option to get rid of the top. Round this out. Make it a new layer called head. And I'll solo out the head. Select both shapes, get my shape builder, hold down Alt or Option to subtract. Round those joins a little better. Line it up. Now I just need the wings. Holding down Alt and Shift or Option and Shift to duplicate. Dragging my selection up to that layer. And again, I'm going to use Shape Tools to get rid of what I don't want. Hold down Shift to select them both. And I'm going to use my Shape Builder to delete what I don't want by holding down Alt or Option. I did Command J to join there. I'll add a path point. I'm just rounding that out for where it meets the body. I can duplicate this layer and now make it the back way. I'm going to do Command C to copy, select that layer, Command Shift V to paste in place. I'm going to select my wings, line them up with the body, fix the neck and the head, and then we're done. That's a bit better. I'm going to save this as a bird, just as an Illustrator file, hit OK, 
go into After Effects, change my workspace. This is my character rigging workspace. I'm gonna just do small screen. Double click in here to bring in my file, or I could go file, import file, or I could just import it by clicking and dragging. So I click once, import footage as, composition retain layer sizes. Now I double click and I've got a sequence with my bird in it. You can't see it because of the alpha, but there it is. So I'm gonna put a solid below this. I just right clicked. I could always go layer new solid, make a blue sky put that below the bird. Okay, now this is going to be the fast way of animating a bird. Let's solo the wing and the blue layer just so we could see a little better. I'm gonna put this where it meets the body. I'm gonna do the same thing for the back wing. Like that. So that's where I'm moving my anchor point to. The torso, I'll just keep in the center. The neck, I'm using the mouse wheel on my mouse to zoom in. I'm gonna put this at the bottom where it meets the body, the anchor point, and I'm using the pan behind tool for this. I'm gonna put this right here, pan behind tool right there. That's how you move the anchor point because that's where the motion will come from or the transform that you're doing to this. Okay, so watch the wing. I'm gonna solo the wing and the background. If I rotate it, that's not how a wing flaps. But if I 3D enable it, here's my 3D switches. Let me click these to turn those back on. This is toggle switches and modes. So these are my switches, these little check boxes. And these are my modes. That's how you get back and forth between the two. I'm gonna make sure I'm in my switches. I'm gonna 3D enable this wing, and I'm gonna 3D enable that wing. They're both shape layers. I'm also going to continuously rasterize because this is Illustrator artwork. So now I can hide that wing. When I hit R for rotate, I can rotate on the X, Y, or Z axes. I'm gonna do the X axes as you just saw, because that's how a wing flaps. I'm choosing both of them at the same time. I'll go forward a little bit. Actually, let's select both of them at the same time. Now they're both gonna move at the same time, the same amount. So that's good. I'm going to select them by clicking and dragging, hover over one of the keyframes till I get keyframe assistant by right clicking. Easy ease. Now I can use my speed graph. This looks like the value graph. I click here, it is the value graph. That's how much is happening, how much rotation. I want the speed graph so I can edit the speed in and out of my keyframes. I'm gonna select both of these and speed into it. You don't wanna move the square up or down, that's your keyframe. So it's going to, let's zoom out a little bit. And I'm going to slow out of here a little bit. Click here to get out of my speed graph. Okay, that's fine. Go select all these, hold down Alt or Option while I click on the stopwatch. And I'm gonna do a loop out ping pong. Double click to complete the expression. Inside here, quote, ping pong. So I had to put the quote mark, double click to complete it. Now remember, when you see the text selection tool, you're still inside the expression. You need to click out of the expression for it to work properly. So I'm going to click out of it once I see the white arrow. Copy that expression, paste it into here by holding down Alt or Option. Again, I need to click out of my expression field. Now it should flap up and down. 
There you go. Okay, so that's working. And let's try a little bit of Z rotation for each one, just to have it sit on the body a little better. Like that. Now let's take a look at it. That's a lot better. It's a little too much on the Z. So we'll lower that a little bit. I'm a little happier with that. Let's make it nine. There we go. Okay, I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna hit the U key to close up those layers. We've got our wings flapping. That's great. Now the neck. So I'm going to parent the head to the neck using my pick whip. I'm going to parent the neck to the torso using my pick whip, or you could use your drop down menus. So now for my neck, I'm going to hold down Alt or Option, click on rotation, do a wiggle. This way I don't have to keep keyframing the neck bobbling as it flies. Let's do once per second comma, let's try 20. And then I click out once it's on the white arrow. See? So I'm just gonna copy that expression, go to my head, hit R for rotate, hold down Alt or Option, Command V to paste in. Now remember, you gotta have the white arrow to select out of your expression so you can preview it. Now we've got some more life to it. Okay, so I'm gonna hit U to collapse all my layers and U again. Now I'm going to pre-compose all my bird layers by right-clicking on it, move all attributes that has to light up blue, click OK. And I'm gonna move the anchor point for that pre-comp to the center of the bird body. Now, if I want, I'm gonna rotate it a little bit. That looks a lot better. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So, I want the bird to fly across the screen. I'm gonna hit P for position, click my stopwatch, I'm hovering over the numbers to slide on it, or you could use the selection arrow, hold down shift so it goes straight. And let's say we want it to fly across the screen five seconds, so you have time to see. So again, I could hover over, or I could type in a number, or I could use my selection arrow, start dragging, and then hold down shift. So now the bird's going in a straight line across the screen. That's fine but that's not realistic. So I'm gonna click on the word position, not the stopwatch, because if I click it a second time, I lose my keyframes. Right click, separate dimensions. So now I've got my X keyframes going side to side. I'm going to click on the stopwatch for Y so that there's no keyframes. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a wiggle expression just to the Y so the bird bobs up and down as it's flying across the screen. So I hold down Alt or Option. I'm going to paste in my expression, see how that looks. I'm going to increase the amount. Let's say twice a second in an amount of 80. I've got to have the white arrow to click out of my expression. There we go. That's a bit better now. So that is how to animate a bird very quickly. And if you say those wings are a little slow, I can double click in here, go to my wings, hit U for my keyframes, drag them closer to speed it up. And there's an expression on it. So that's the fast and easy way of fixing that. See, now it's flapping faster. That's it. So I hope you found this helpful and I hope you have a great summer. Congratulations on finishing the semester strong. And I'll send this file to you as well as put the video up on YouTube.